Yeah, I already started it. There you go. It's recording right now. Let me stand right there so you can get those. Yeah, stand, yeah, stand over there. Hey, get yeah, Isaiah. We're going to start it off on a uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. We're going to be up on Isaiah today. What's today's day? Yeah, well, what's up? We are, we out here. We on Ohio State University campus. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna teach the truth. Yeah. Uh, whenever you got it, bring out Isaiah 58:1. So we're the Israelites. We out here to wake up the elected Israel. Okay. That's all we doing. We out here to teach the truth. We we out here as sheep in the midst of wolves. Three dead. Isaiah 58 or what? Cry aloud, spare not. So we, oh my fault. Yeah, we're gonna be out. We're gonna cry aloud, and we're gonna spare not. We ain't sparing nobody. We don't give a damn if our old lady comes out here, the little children come up talking shit. We're gonna curse the asses out. If your grandma comes up here talking shit. We're gonna curse her out. Okay, anybody that come up here talking against the word of the Most High, you getting cursed out. That's all there is to it. All right, read that again. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So we're gonna lift up our voice like a trumpet, all right? We're gonna speak with a loud, rough voice. But in America, all these men in America got the, the spirit of a, of a woman, okay? There's a feminine vibration in America. All the men act like women. All the men are a bunch of faggots and bitches. They, if you speak with a loud voice, they'll be like, why are you talking so loud? Uh, keep going. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. So we're supposed to show our people their transgressions. So are we supposed to tell these people, what's that trans, the main transgression is adultery. America is a, is a kingdom of Satan, is a kingdom of adultery, the kingdom of sodomites, the kingdom of faggots. All the women is whores, they all commit adultery left and right. There's no punishment for adultery. In America, it's legal to break the Ten Commandments. They can break the first commandment, second commandment, third commandment. They break all the commandments. It's the kingdom of Satan. Uh, hey, give, go back, skip back. Give me a uh, skip up a chapter. Read Isaiah 59 and 1. Because we out here, we saying, fuck America. Fuck all you adulterers, you adulteresses, you antichrist. All you heathens. Okay, we got no love for none of you. If you ain't teaching the word of the Most High, we got no love for you. We pray that the Most High destroys you and he kills you. Okay? Keep, uh, read that. Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot say, neither is air heavy that cannot hear. Yeah, so people always say, oh, the, the Lord ain't even real. Y'all just y'all just got uh, brain damage. Y'all, they say uh, you have a mental problem. If you believe in the Bible, they'll say that you have a mental problem. They'll say that you're psychotic, you're delusional. Well, the Lord's hands is not shortened, okay? Keep going. But your iniquity, iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you. So that's the reason people don't believe in the Most High, is because they're so damn wicked and evil. It's just another way for them to justify their wickedness. Because they deep in their spirit, they know the Most High is real. But they'll, 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 they'll blaspheme the Most High. No blaspheme the Bible just because they're adulterers. They're adulterers, so they're a faggot. You know what I'm saying? They're thieves, they're liars and murderers. So they justify their wickedness by saying the Bible ain't real, just written by Bronze Age sheep herders. Okay, they'll be like, I believe in science. I believe in science. When these motherfuckers don't know nothing about science. We know more about science than all these people. These people claim they, they are scientists. They've never conducted a single experiment. Keep going. And the word science means knowledge. It's a Latin word, science means knowledge. And that the true knowledge is real science is the Holy Bible. It's a science. Keep going. And your sins have hid his face from you, 
that he will not hear. Keep going. For your hands are defiled with blood. Yeah, these fools, their hands is defiled with blood. Keep going. And your fingers with inequity. Yeah, that's iniquity for you stupid people, that means evil. That means wickedness. Keep going. Your lips have spoken lies. Now, all y'all speaking lies. Like uh, the book of 1 John says, whoever is an antichrist is a liar. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no truth in him. Anybody denies the Lord and denies the one you call Jesus Christ is a liar. Okay, don't believe nothing they say. Keep going. Your lips have muttered perfect perverseness. Perverseness. Yeah, perverseness, perverseness means against truth. To be perverted, because the word vert comes from the Latin word veritas. That means truth. To be perverted means you turned away from the truth. That's what the word pervert means. means you turned away from the truth. Literally. Keep on. No call it for justice. Hey, nobody call for justice. They claim out oh, no justice, no peace. Hands up, don't shoot. Or oh, no what they say. Is that what they say? Hands up, don't shoot. No justice, no peace. Here it is, the main people protesting that Mike Brown shit, that Ferguson shit, what's your boy Gardner? The main people protesting that is a bunch of little liberal white kids and a bunch of adulterous ass black bitches. Here it is, a bitch done committed adultery 5,000 times, done sucked 2,000 dicks. You know what I'm saying? Call, she done called 911 on her baby's daddy, you know what I'm saying, 100 times, but now she out in the streets protesting, talking about no justice, no peace. When this bitch should have done been put to death. That, that's why those Ferguson protests ain't gonna bear no fruit. Just like the, the protests up in New York and Berkeley and all around the nation, they ain't gonna bear no fruit. Nothing good is gonna come of it because they're not coming out the word of the Lord. They're not coming out the book, you know what I'm saying? They ain't coming out in the name of the Lord. Okay, they ain't out here protesting in all these abortions. Half them bitches is out there protesting in Ferguson that have 20 abortions apiece. You know, I read that again, man. None call it for justice, nor any pleaded for the truth. So nobody out here calling for justice or pleading for truth. You know what I'm saying? The so-called judges, they claim they give you justice up in the courthouse. When you go up in a courthouse in downtown, all they doing is stealing your money. Only thing these judges do is steal your money. These cops out here, these cops out here ain't giving you no justice. The only thing cops do is pull you over, give you traffic tickets, and take your money and rob you and steal your property. That's all the cops do. That's why we say fuck the police. And the, uh, the Bible says fuck the police. The Most High says fuck the police. Fuck the police. Did you know that God said fuck the police? Did you know that? According to the Bible, you're supposed to say fuck the police. All right, fuck the police. We, don't, we, we pray the most high kills all you cops. Anybody that is a cop, we pray that you die. We pray that you get shot. We pray that an angry mob of, of, of fucking zombies just devour your ass. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring faith in iniquity. Keep going, keep going. They hatch. Cockatrice's eggs. <laughs> they hatch cockatrice's eggs and they weave the spiders. Oh, yeah, they weave the spiders. These people out here, especially your teachers, all these pastors, all these so called spiritual leaders, they weave a web of lies. You know what I'm saying? Everything they teach up in these churches is lies. All these spiritual leaders you, uh, you see on the internet, they talk about ancient aliens, fallen angels. They all weave a web of lies. You know what I'm saying? Nothing they say is true. Like I said, if anybody denies the Lord, the Messiah, the one you call Jesus Christ, they are a liar. That's all there is to it. Keep going. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, if anybody up in there uh, eating up all your pastor's words up in your churches, you know what I'm saying? You, you turn into a serpent. Keep going. 
Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they over neither shall they cover themselves with their works. He going. Their works are works of iniquity. Yeah, so the works of America is iniquity. The works of all you adulterous hoes out here, y'all workers of iniquity. All these faggots out here, they workers of iniquity. Keep going. And the acts of violence is in their hands. Yeah, because America is a kingdom of violence. America is established by violence. They just get all their wealth from violence. They go around the world oppressing people, blowing little children up in Iraq. The United States military done killed like a million people in Iraq. Now they about to go back to Iraq. What's up, homie? So, you know you an Israelite? Say, so, you know you an Israelite? Oh, you do? Who told you that? Oh, your mom told you? So you believe in the Bible, right? I can't hear you. Oh, you go to church? What kind of church you go to? Huh? The Garden Church. The Garden Church? What's, what do they teach you up in there? They tell you that you an Israelite in that church? They say you Israelite? Oh, that's good. Where's your church at? Is it inside of a building? Yeah. Give me Acts 7 48. I'm going to show you a scripture in the Bible. This is church. The real church is right here. You ain't supposed to be hiding up inside no building. Why would they throw people in Iraq? Well, that's the United States government. They go to Iraq, they so they kill everybody, then they, they steal all their oil, they steal all their money. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what America does. How do you think all these people in America have so much money? Like a lot of these rich people? Right, because they go to these other countries and they steal everything. Yeah, America's army. They're a bunch of thieves and robbers. You know what I'm saying? Give me John 10 and 10 real quick. The whole dad get John 10 and 10. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know. You, you, you know, how old is you? 12. Uh, you know, according to the Bible, when you turn 12 years old, you a man. You know that? You a grown man. Because the number 12 is a spiritual number. You know there's 12 tribes in Israel. You know what I'm saying? It's 12 months in a year. I read John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's the United States military is the thief. They don't come but to steal, kill, and destroy. So don't ever join the military. Because all you're going to do is you're going to go fight for the devil. Okay? Because the United States government is the devil. Okay? So all, all these people in the military, all they doing is they going to these other countries. They killing women, killing children. They robbing them, stealing all their money, stealing all their gold, stealing their oil. That, that's all America does. They rape, rob, and pillage. You know, America was founded by slavery, right? What was black people at when America was started? They was in slavery. What happened to all the North American Indians? They was murdered. They had murdered every last, uh, damn near all of them. You see Indians walking around? They all got murdered. Because America is the kingdom of Satan. So don't don't listen to them. They say, God bless America. According to the Bible, you're supposed to say, God damn America. Okay, it's the kingdom of Satan. This is Babylon. You ever hear Babylon? Babylon is a Hebrew, you know, Oh, you gotta go, bro. You go ahead and go, man. I know you young. You gotta be home by a certain age. Mary, when you 12 years old, you a man. <laughs> you know, little brother's the truth. He's looking at us like he's crazy. But he said he go to church. He get that axe. Axe. We out here to brainwash the children. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we go, but the brainwash means we're gonna clean your brain because your brain is filthy. And that's why they raise these little children up from a young age, polluting their minds. So if somebody's mind is polluted, that means you gotta clean their mind, you gotta clean their brain, you gotta brainwash them. What are you saying? Uh, Acts 7 or 48. That's why these little children, they are forced to go to school when they're what, five years old? When you're five years old, you're still a baby. 
but they, 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 they take you and steal you away from your parents and steal you away from your family and then make you go to a government uh, a mind control center called a public school and they force you to go to that shit where, where they uh where they program you to become a slave for 12 years straight and that, that's all these schools are man it's, it's just mind control it's a what's what's a good word is slave training that's all public schools is is a slave training center Acts 748. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Yeah, so the Most High is, the Most High does not dwell in temples made with hands. All these people talking about, I go to church every Sunday. Well, first of all, you go to church on Sundays because your church is a, actually a pagan temple. That's why a lot of these churches got a church steeple. These churches, these buildings made with human hands, most of them got uh, steeples on it. It's a little uh, a point, which is a phallic symbol, which represents a dick. It goes back to the worshiping of Osiris's penis, just like an obelisk. If you see the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C., that's an obelisk. It represents Osiris's penis. It represents Nimrod's penis. It goes back to the worshiping of the penis. It goes back to sexual magic. The worshiping of the sexual act, which is what pagans worship. All right, um, read that again. It also goes back to sun worship, because they also call the obelisk a sundial, and that's why and that's why Christians go to church on Sunday, because Sunday is the day of the sun, and that's why you go to the Vatican over there in Italy, over there in Rome. Over there in the Vatican, Vatican in St. Petersburg, St. Peter Square, they got a big ass obelisk right in the middle. Uh, praying, uh, giving homage to the sun, giving homage to Nimrod, to Osiris. But read that. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Yeah, so the Most High don't dwell in temples made with hands, out of, made out of brick and mortar. Keep going. As said the prophet. What prophet? At Isaiah. We can get that too. Uh, keep going. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. Yeah, so the, the, the most high, heaven is a throne, meaning the whole universe, the outer space, the different galaxies. That's the most high's throne. The earth is his footstool. He rests his foot on the earth. So how are you going to make a, a house for the most high on the earth if, his, if, if the heavens is his throne? That don't make no sense. Keep going. What house will you build me, said the Lord? What is the place of my rest? So that's why the Most High, he destroyed the temple of the Lord. You see that the Israelites built two temples. We built two temples, and the Lord had them both destroyed. He don't need no temple. Because actually, you are the temple. The scriptures say that you are the temple of the Most High. Okay, each one of us is a brick. That's why the Lord said we the stone that the builders refused. It said the stone that the builder refused to become the head corner stone. You know what I'm saying? So each one of us is a brick. He's a brick. He's a brick. I'm a brick. And you pull all these bricks together, that makes the church. Keep going. Have not my hands made all these things? Ye stink neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears. So yeah, our people are stiff, stiff neck. They're stupid, they're retarded, they don't know nothing, they ain't got no knowledge. Okay, they're just worthless. We surrounded by worthless ass people. Most people you see are stupid and retarded and they're worthless. Keep going. You do always resist the Holy Ghost. Now these people, they resist the Holy Spirit. Hey, jump by uh, go to Isaiah 66 and 1. They actually right there in our Acts. They was quoting the book of Isaiah. It said that the most high dwells not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. They was talking about the prophet Isaiah. Because they quoted a scripture in the book of Acts. Which was quoting the book of Isaiah. Give me that, Isaiah 66 and 1. Thus said the Lord, the heaven is my throne. There it goes again. The heaven is the... The heavens mean the whole universe 
That's the Lord's throne. Keep going. And the earth is my footstool. So the earth is the most high's footstool. Keep going. Where is the house that ye built unto me? Right. You can't, the most high, he, he gonna live in a building? I Man, how stupid is that? Keep going. And where is the place of my rest? Keep all going. those things have my hand made. And all those things have been, said the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. Oh yeah, so the Most High is looking for people who trembles at his word, okay? So you're supposed to tremble at the word of the Most High. These people out here, they don't tremble at the word of the Most High. If you, if you read a scripture, a scripture to these people, they laugh at you. They say you're crazy. Okay, because they don't tremble at the word. They have, they do not fear the Most High. They, they will fear the Most High though. When they get burned up, when the missiles start flying, and they get, they start get burned up. They start seeing people dropping dead. They're gonna fear the Most High then. Uh, keep going. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. Hey, he, skip down to Isaiah 66 and 15. They're they, they gonna fear the Lord right here. When this happens, this is when they're gonna fear the, fear the Lord. They're gonna fear the Lord when it's too late. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. So this is what's gonna happen when the Lord returns. When the Lord returns, he's coming with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. And those chariots, that's a so-called UFO. All right, a spaceship. All right, keep on. To render his anger with fury. So the Lord is angry. Everybody wants to say Jesus is love and God is love. The Lord said he angry. Okay, because the Lord is a man of war. Keep on. And his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord gonna come, he gonna, he gonna rebuke you fools with a flame of fire. Y'all gonna be incinerated. If you ain't right with the Most High, you gonna be incinerated. All right? Like all these little trendies out here, they gonna be incinerated, man. All these faggots out here, these LGBTers, or LGBT and Qs now. They call it lesbian, gay, well how does it go? Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, and queers. What the fuck is that? You're going to be incinerated. Y'all ass is going to be rebuked with flames of fire, man. You're going to tell me the Lord is dealing with transsexuals? Because you know a transsexual don't believe in the Lord. Obviously. Y'all know that God hates all faggots. He's going to kill all the faggots. Y'all know that, right? They don't like the answer to that. There ain't nothing cool about being a faggot. You going... Woo. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. So the Lord is going to plead with all flesh with that fire. He's going to burn your ass up. That's hell. That's what you call hellfire. That's the biblical definition of hell, of hellfire. And when the Lord come back with them chariots and he burn your ass up. Just like in that movie, uh, War of the Worlds. You see them chariots come out of the sky, they're just going to be laser beaming and disintegrating your ass to pieces. <laughs> or you seen that movie, The Knowing? You seen that movie, The Knowing? Mm. You ain't seen that? No. With Nicolas Cage? No. They show you they got some angels in that movie. They come back, they save a very few people, and they just burn everybody else up with the fire. You got you to gotta watch The Knowing. Say get on Pirate Bay and get it, but Pirate Bay got taken down. You see that? Huh. They, them bastards and bitches, they done took down. You know what the Pirate Bay is, don't you? Y'all yeah. know what the Pirate Bay is? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man, you gotta educate your son. The Pirate Bay, that's the number one torrent site on the internet. We can download your, your different audio and video files. But you can still get on kick ass. But, uh, yeah, you gotta watch The Knowing, man. That's a good movie. 
Is there uh, more today? Give me a... Fuck. Give me a... Revelation 1 of 14. Yeah, because when the Lord come out of the sky, he come up with a, a, a great host of angels. You know what I'm saying? He come up with all the holy angels. That's where you get that old, that old Negro, so-called Negro spiritual song, Swing Low, Sweet Cherry. Those chariots, they talking about swinging low, is those UFOs, so-called UFOs. That's the chariots of the Most High. Because they praying to the Most High, swing low. If he, that means swing low, because the chariots is up high. It ain't talking about a chariot being drawn by a horse. They said swing low, because the chariots is up in the sky, because when the slaves was out working in the fields at nighttime out in the country, that was back, what, uh, over 100 years ago. There wasn't no city lights and light pollution. You could look up and see all the stars and you could see all the chariots in the sky. If we went out in the country away from all this shit, you would see chariots flying around everywhere. Sometimes you can still see them a lot when there ain't no light pollution. But they was praying those chariots come down and take them home. Take him back to Israel. Back by the River Jordan. Huh? That's the right scripture? Yeah, Revelation 1 and 14. One is, what does that say? The hair is white as wool. Oh, no, 1 and 7, my fault. Okay. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, behold, he cometh with clouds. So, yeah, this is talking about the one you call Jesus Christ. Whose real uh, name in Hebrew is Yahushai. It said, Behold, he comes with clouds. Those clouds is talking about his chariots of fire. That great whirlwind. He's going to rebuke your ass with flames of fire with. Read that again. Behold, he comes with clouds. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. They also which pierce him. They are who pierced the Lord. No, I pierced him with that spear is the Romans. Today, the, the, the modern Roman Empire, look at that loud ass shit. So America is the reincarnation of the Roman Empire, which is controlled by the Edomites, right? So America is the modern day Roman Empire, and they, in the American military, they're going to be destroyed. Okay, the Lord is going to destroy them. That's why in the book of Revelation, it says there's going to be a war in heaven, in Revelation 12. And so when the Lord comes back out of the sky with the chariots, the military, they're going to try to fight the Lord, and the Lord's going to, they, they're going to get destroyed, obviously. Obviously. Uh, read that again. I'm going to find a scripture. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. Just like on that movie Independence Day. You see Independence Day? Mm -hmm. With Will Smith? Yeah. Remember that big ass, they had a bunch of little chariots, but there was a big giant UFO that came out of the sky and everybody's seen that one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So every eye gonna see the Lord. Keep going. And they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wait because of him. Shall wail. Well. Yeah. Even so. So all these fools are going to wail because of the Lord, okay? They're going to wail. They're going to weep. They, like the, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know what I'm saying? So these people, they're going to be weeping. Right now, they're everybody laughing. Ha, ha, ha. It's a good time. Buckeyes is playing Alabama. You know what I'm saying? They all happy. Buckeyes playing Alabama. They all happy now, but soon they're going to be weeping, man. They're going to be weeping. They're going to be gnashing of teeth. I'll read that again. I can't read that enough. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. They also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Uh, Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, He's talking about the same thing he's talking about when he coming with clouds. Those clouds is his glory. All those angels is his glory. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. 
and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one, one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. So give me Amos uh, 9 and 9. So when the Lord come back, he gonna separate all the nations. Cause right now, especially in America, we live in Babylon, which is, means confusion. America's a giant melting pot. Over here we got all nations. We got black people, we got white people, we got Hindus, motherfucking Mexicans. We got goddamn Muslims and Arabs and Somalians. And, and anything you can think of, it's over here. You know what I'm saying? But when, when the Lord comes, you ain't supposed to have everything mixed together like that. That's going against the scripture. But the Most High did that on purpose to mix everybody together. That's a punishment for not obeying his commandments. You got scattered, he has scattered Israel among the heathen. But when the Lord come back, he gonna sift Israel from among all these nations, among all these heathen nations. He gonna, he gonna separate the goats from the sheep. And the sheep rep represents Israel. And the Lord said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the Lord, he gonna separate the sheep from the goats. And the goats represent the heathens. Because the Lord didn't come to save everybody. He only came to save Israel, okay? The Lord is only dealing with Israel. He ain't dealing with all these heathens. Uh, read that. Oh. Amos 9 and 9. For lo, I will command, and I will sit the house of Israel among all nations. So Israel scattered among all nations, okay? Israel is scattered among every nation on this planet Earth. And that's why we can't judge people according to the flesh. According, we got to judge according to the spirit because Israel is scattered among all these heathens. Uh, keep going. Like a port is shifted in a sea, ye shall not, ye yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All right, that means the Lord, every, he knows where every Israelite is and all of our brothers they're going to be saved. Give me uh, Romans 11 and 28. Because Israel said, I'm going to get another scripture to back it up. Because you got a lot of fools out there on the internet and everywhere. Don't try to say the Israelites only come with one skin color. You got a lot of fools. They'll try to say all the Israelites are only black because originally all people, all men on the earth was dark skin originally. But you got some people to say only white, uh, only black people are Israelites. <laughs> then you ain't got the white people to say only white people are Israelites. Then you got these stupid ass churches to say all nations can be saved. It's all a bunch of confusion. What you got, what is that? Uh, what does that say, 11 to 28? As concerning the gospel, that's what you want. Think, read it. Romans 11 and 28. Yeah, cause, hold my phone real quick. Cause these people out here, they don't understand the Bible. They don't understand the mystery of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, read that. Romans 11 and 28. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. He won. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. He won. For as ye in time past have not believed God. Right, because our people, they've been scattered. They followed it. the ways of the heathen. Yeah, a lot of our people, they think they're Egyptian. Uh, keep going. Yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. Keep going. Even so have there also now not believed that though your mercy that though your mercy they also may attain mercy. Keep going. For God had concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon them all. Keep going. Oh the death of the riches both of the wisdom. Let me say that real quick. I think I, went, I think I told you to go up too far. Yeah, that, that's a good scripture. We're gonna read that. The depth and the wisdom. Which one are you at? 11? 11, 
Oh, my fault. I meant 20. I, I meant, yeah, that's good though. I actually meant 25. 25, my fault. I went up a little too high. Number 25. Yeah, because the how the depths and the riches and the wisdom of the most high. So right, right now, we passing out free riches. We passing out gold and silver. You want some gold? I do not want your gold, sir. Uh, he wants some. What well, if I had a bag of diarrhea? He'd take that. <laughs> Read that. Want some dick up his ass? Yeah, he'd take some cocks and dicks. Read that. Romans 11 and 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant. So, oh yeah, we ain't gonna let nobody be ignorant. That's why we out here teaching this truth. A lot of y'all ignorant. You're a bunch of ignorant fools. A bunch of dumbasses. A bunch. Of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all liking unto the uh, heathen. Keep going. That ye shall be ignorant of this mystery. So we out here, we were building mysteries out here. Y'all, you don't know nothing about no mysteries. Keep going. Let, let she shall be wise in your own conceit. Yeah, a lot of these fools, they wise in their own conceit. They think they know everything. They don't know a goddamn thing. Okay, they just retarded as can be. They retarded, they're foolish. That's just as bad as all the sins you're trying to code out of here. I can't, I, I can't hear you. You're using the Lord's name in vain, saying What's the Lord's name? You did. You said goddamn. That is God is not, bad. God is not God's name. God is an English word, okay? God, the guy's name is Yahweh. So the guy ran over. Get hate, don't yeah, man. you don't know <laughs> Hebrew, you're retarded. Just like I just said you was retarded. That's why you almost got ran over. And I pray the most high hit you with a Coda bus. I hope you get ran over by a tow truck. You know what I'm saying? God's name in vain. So God's name is God now. You are retarded. God is English. Zeus is the God of thunder. I guess he's God too. Hades is the God of the underworld. I guess he's God. Okay, Aphrodite is the goddess of love. I guess she's God. The God is just a title. That's not God's name. Uh, read that. What did I say? I got confused. The Lord, God's name is not God. God's name is Yahweh. All right, his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Keep going. That blindness in part has happened to Israel. So it said we're going to re reveal a mystery. And the mystery is this. The mystery is that Israel was blinded. And Israel is the chosen people of the Most High. That's who the Lord came to save. Nobody else. And it said Israel was blinded. Keep going. And part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So Israel was going to be blinded. He ain't going to be able to see until the fullness of the Gentiles come in. And people are like, see, that means the Gentiles can be saved. No, no. That means Israel is scattered among the Gentiles. And so Israel can't be able to see and have his blindness taken away until all of his brothers that were lost that were scattered among the heathen were awakened to the truth. And that's when Israel's sight will be given back to them. So read that again. From the top? Oh well, yeah, what well, you just read in part. Yeah. In part, this happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. The I only mean, I got a precept. It's in the book of Tobit, okay? Y'all know God's gonna destroy America, right? You know, we the prophets of the Lord, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good, you should hope, you should pray. You should pray that the Lord destroys America. He said, I hope so. That's a good spirit to be in. But I got a precept for that scripture he's reading. Tobit, the book of Tobit, out of the Apocrypha, out of the King James Apocrypha. See, the devil took this out of the Bible. Back when the King James Bible was first published in 1611, this was in it. Tobit 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. I'm going to read that one more time. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. So the reason the Lord said we got to teach the gospel to all nations 
is because our people are scattered among all nations. That means we got Israelites to look like Chinese people. Like we always said, we said it a million times, that Bruce Lee is an Israelite. Even though Bruce Lee looked like a Chinese person, he's actually an Israelite, okay? But a lot of people, they can't get that. They'll say he's just a gook. But he's a gook that will whoop your ass, you know what I'm saying? But you got Israelites scattered among all nations. You got Israelites scattered in Mexico. You got Israelites scattered in, in Germany. Uh, you got Israelites scattered in Africa. Israelites in Russia. You name a country on earth, there's Israelites over there. Read that. And so all of Israel shall be saved. So yeah, because all of Israel cannot be saved until the fullness of the Gentiles come in. That's talking about those Israelites that are scattered. Because our people are scattered among all nations. All right? These people, we, we, yeah, people look at you like crazy. Yeah, they walk by, they look, at, look, they look at us like, look at these stupid assholes. Yeah. And they're retarded. That's a badge of honor, though. Keep going. There shall come out a Shion. Out of Zion. Well, yeah, you know, in the New Testament it says Zion. It's, it's Zion. And the Hebrew is actually a taza. It starts with a T Z type. You know what I'm saying? Out of Zion. Keep going. The deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So the Lord gonna turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So we know this ain't talking about actual Gentiles being saved. It's talking about those Israelites that were scattered among those heathens getting saved. Because it said the Lord will turn away ungodliness from Jacob. And it say turn away ungodliness from the heathen. It said Jacob. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He's the patriarch and father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Keep going. For this is my covenant unto them. He said the covenant was made with Israel. The covenant was not made with Esau. The co covenant was not made with Ham or Japheth. The covenant was made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep going. When I shall take away their sins. Take away Israel's sins. All right, keep going. Oh, I, got a, I got a precept for that. The Lord's only dealing with Israel. He don't care about all these damn heathens. These churches teach you Jesus came to save everybody. We know that's not true. Uh, what was I about to get? If I could turn these pages with these gloves. I hear that bullshit music. It's just disturbing. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. That says the same thing as Romans. That says the same thing as the Old Testament. So the Lord gonna come to save Israel from their sins. Oh, you got something else? That? Yeah, whatever. Just keep reading. You like that? That's a uh, what's that bitch's mm. name? Ooh, oh, no. That's not like the hottest <laughs> video on YouTube. Uh, what's that bitch's name? The singing that uh, blank blank space. Uh, is that pe 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 Perry? Not that bitch. Perry. Uh, oh, no. Katy Perry. She's Katie. a sexy little Perry. bitch. Katy Perry? Perry. Is it, that's not yeah. Katy Perry, it's the other bitch. Uh, that's it. That blank space, but when well, she's talking about pretty much fucking all kind of dudes is what she's talking I'll put about. put your name on the blank space. Yeah, this got like a hundred million views or some crazy shit on YouTube. Just came out last, a couple weeks ago. Damn. What's that bitch's name? She's kind of hot too. They got a little catchy little tune, you know what I mean? Miley Cyrus? I for, no, that's not no Miley Cyrus. <laughs> You and there, I uh, never yeah. get no props, no Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. People on YouTube on the comment where they, what's that bitch's name? Uh, I can't think. Oh, fuck that hoe. This is a catchy tune, you know what I'm saying? But you know, to become famous, you, you gotta worship Satan. You gotta make a deal with the so called Jew, the devil. I was just switch gears. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. We're gonna talk shit about the Jews now. 
Because the so-called Jew's the biggest piece of shit on the face of the earth. And he controls uh, Hollywood, the so-called Jew. They're not, we're the, we're the real Jews. Those Jews over there in the state of Israel, they're a bunch of devils. They worship Satan. Did you know the Jews worship Satan? Did you know that? You didn't know that. You know now. That's why we out here, to inform and educate. You know what I'm saying? The so-called Jews are, uh, is Satan. Read Revelation to it. Did y'all know that the so-called Jew in the state of Israel worship Satan? They molest children, the child molesters. Y'all didn't know that. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. That's talking about us. We rich because we got the knowledge. Real riches is this knowledge right here. Keep going. And I know the blasphemy of them that would say they are Jews and are not. Yeah, the, the, those so-called Jews in the state of Israel, they're not real Jews. They don't descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They're a bunch of liars. Just like the Bible said, whoever's an antichrist and denies uh, the Messiah is a, is a liar. Ain't no truth up in it. Keep going. But they are the synagogue of Satan. So the so-called Jews in Israel today, they the synagogue of Satan. They say they are Jews, but they are not Jews, they're liars. And the so-called Jew, they control the government, they own all the banks. The so-called Jews, they own the banks. You can't get your check cash without going through a fucking Jew. That's a fact. You can't get your check cash without going through a Jew. Okay, the Jews print the money. The money you got in your pocket is not even money, it's a Federal Reserve note. The so-called Jew owns the Federal Reserve, they print the money, and they own all the banks. All right? That's a fact, the Jews are devil. You know all Jews are devils, right? That's a fact. Y'all a bunch of devils. You're going into slavery. But I was just saying though, the so-called Jew owns the, uh, the music industry. You can't get a you can't get signed to a record label without bowing down to a so-called Jew and sucking that cock and do some gay shit with him. You gotta form a satanic alliance with a Jew if you wanna become a, a superstar. If you wanna be a Hollywood actor or an actress, you gotta bow down to a so-called Jew, because the Jews own and run Hollywood. And what does Hollywood produce? Hollywood produces nothing but filth. Everything that comes out of Hollywood is filth. Nothing but adultery devil worshiping, blasphemy. Everything in Hollywood is filth. And you people let your children watch all these Hollywood movies, your children get brainwashed by, the, by all these movies. Uh, go ahead. I don't, I don't watch movies no more. That's why when Pirate Bay got taken down, I wasn't even that big a deal to me. I don't be downloading movies. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to get brainwashed by that bullshit. Uh, Read that again, man. All right. Yeah, read Revelation 3 and 9. That little short girl is looking at us, smiling at us. Yeah. You see her? She was hot. Oh, she was like shit. three foot tall. Oh, I dropped this. I don't think she was Jewish, was she? Maybe she, she had a little nose. She could have been a little ass Israelite bitch, a little midget. <laughs> you, got, you got Israelite midgets too, bro. That sounds crazy. <laughs> like your boy, you ever watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, uh, nah. You never watch Game of Thrones? Like That's one of the episodes. best shows. Even though that did, did, did uh, Fire and Ice, what is based on the books, that was written by a Jew. I've, all this shit's written by a Jew. But that actor, what's that dude's name? Uh, uh, he played uh, uh, Lan the Lan the Lan Lannister midget. T Tyrion, Tyrion Lannister. The dude that plays that little midget on Game of Thrones, he's an Israelite, bro. Even though he a goddamn midget, He's a fucking Israelite. Oh yeah, that bread. He, I mean, here he's a goddamn midget, and he's the superstar. He's the he's the star of the show. Yeah, Israelite. You know, he was in that movie Knights of Bad Acidum. You seen that? Well, we we watched it together. You seen Knights of Bad Acidum? Nah. Oh, that's a good movie, man. They out there larping it up. You don't know about larp? Nah. <laughs> live action role. Play. Yeah, live action role playing. They go out in the woods and they play uh. They pretty much play Dungeons and Dragons out in the woods. Some live action role play. It's like they you play Final Fantasy before, right? No. Did you ever play a role playing game? No. On a computer or PlayStation? Uh, you no. go up in levels. 
you level oh, yeah. up and yeah. you get different I, they do that shit in real life out in the woods fake yeah. swords yeah they got fake swords you get hit with your sword that's minus two points well actually all the role playing games like you play final fantasy uh uh dragon warrior dragon quest what's some other big ones uh i don't know i don't really get into them no more but that's the big ones for me when I was, you know, coming up, I, I love, love me some Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, right? But that actually all comes from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Well, a dice game, you play the dice game. And when you battle somebody, you battle them with dice. And whoever, you know, you cast a lot. And whoever come up with the highest number or whatever, they'll take so many hits. You know what I'm saying? You can cast spells on people. That actually all comes back from uh, live action role playing. So whole time we give a video game lesson now. But that, that's where Final Fantasy comes from. It comes from Dungeons and Dragons. People used to act it out in real life. You know what I'm saying? Then they turn it to a video game. And now people still go out in the woods and do that shit. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Give me Revelation 3 and 9. Go but talk back to these devils because the so-called we got we got to talk call out the so-called jew because they're not real jews all them israelites over there nah i said israelite israelis they don't call themselves israelites see they know so the bible says israelites but they don't even claim to be israelites they say they are israelis because they know they're not israelites they're, they're not hebrew israelites they're hebrew edomites they just sent from esau aka the devil the children of satan did you know the so-called Jews are the children of Satan? Did you know that? That's the that's the truth. Uh, keep going. Or read that. Revelations three and nine. They people don't even want to talk to us no more. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, who say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. It says say they are Jews but do lie. It's talking about those devils over there in Israel blowing up little Palestinians, blowing up children. You know what I'm saying? They got no remorse. They have, they have, they have kill little children and have no remorse. They're a bunch of devils. All the so-called Jews are a bunch of liars.